Okay. <laughs> Is it recording? <laughs> I'm ready to give you all the updates. <laughs> Hello? Why is it not working? That was a bit of a fail. <laughs> it didn't even focus. Do I even have eyes? Balcony full of chairs. Anyways, this is nice. I'm on the balcony, got my iced coffee. I'm ready to give you all the updates. <laughs> where the heck have I been? Before I get this video started, I just need to address the elephant in the room. My voice. Unfortunately, I have COVID at the moment, so I'm isolating at home. I have been an ISO for I think basically the entire year. Yes, I'm aware the year has only been like 20 days, but like 16 of them I've been in ISO. So I <laughs> thought it was about time to whip out the camera again and give you all the life updates, where I've been, what I've been up to and what my plans are for this year and for this channel because it's been like, I don't even know, like three months or something since I've uploaded. So I thought you all deserve a little update. I made a coffee because COVID's making me sleep like 24 seven. So this will keep me awake and Again, excuse the congestion in my voice. I still have a little bit of a spicy cough. Other than that, I'm feeling a lot better today. I actually got changed out of my PJs and got ready to film this video. So this is the most human I've felt in the past few days. Um, when did I literally become a plant hoarder? <laughs> I genuinely don't know where, when, and how I accumulated so many plants, but I'm gonna try and pop them. Not that I know what I'm doing. Probably Google that, hey. The camera's really irritating because I can't see myself, so I never know if I'm actually in shot or not. Oh god, this is heavy. How to pot plants. How to pot a plant, Bunnings, Australia. This is pretty reliable, I'd say. I need gloves. Clat wing. Let's just wing it because there's too many instructions and too many equipment pieces it's asking me to have. Which I don't. Oh. Anyway. Also, if the audio is bad, I'm really sorry. I thought this was a good activity to do whilst I talk to you guys. But, and I can't pop the plants inside the house because that would just not work either. So, fingers crossed the audio works. Big risk, big reward, in my opinion. I have to turn around because the lighting is better this way. And I'm gonna tie my hair up because it's so windy. Okay, let's do this. Open up the potting mix. Sorry for all the disorganization, <laughs> honestly. It's not really complicated, did I? Oh geez, that's a little soil. Why is the soil so dark? These are the little pots I painted yesterday in ISO, so that was yesterday's ISO project. Potting the plants is today, uh, today's ISO project. I think I'm meant to get a base layer of soil. So I pat it down. I don't know how this works. And then I think I'm meant to massage the pot to get it out. So it's gonna get everywhere there. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, do I press it down? Is it bad? I thought it was a good idea to pot and talk, but clearly I can't go to task. How much soil am I meant to put in? Need a plant expert. Is this really bad to pat down soil? Like make it too compact. I realize I'm talking to myself um, and that by the time someone comments and tells me I'm doing it wrong, it's too late. <laughs> but anyway. Good enough. 
So where the heck have I been? <coughs> well, as I've already mentioned, I've been an ISO. Oh, it's okay. Whoa! Yeah. Go me. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I've been in ISO, so I've kind of just been at home, getting ready for uni, because I start on Monday. I start really early this year, because I am starting med school. How crazy is that? So, I finished my undergraduate degree at the end of last year. I was doing a Bachelor of Science at Sydney Uni, and I majored in anatomy and histology, as some of you may already know. But I finished that degree, but that is honestly so weird. Like, I can't believe I have a degree and I'm about to start another one. That's probably like one of the biggest news is, news is one of the biggest pieces of news I have for you. I definitely have a lot of stuff planned to take you along my journey in med school. Turn my face. I literally can't wait to start this new chapter of my life because I feel like I've been waiting forever to start. Some of you may know I applied to med as an undergrad. No, I applied to med as um, during high school, like when I came out of high school. And Sydney Uni does like an entry pathway where it's like guaranteed entry um, once you finish your first degree. And you can pick like literally whatever degree you want to do, like whether it's arts or science and any major. I just chose anatomy and histology because I did an elective in first year and I absolutely loved it. So I stuck with that. Hopefully that will help going into med, but I know there is like a lot of content and like, I don't know how much of the stuff I've already learned in my undergrad will actually be helpful, but hopefully some of it. <laughs> um, that's one of the most exciting things that's happening soon. I start on Monday, will be filming my first day, except I think it's um, online, which to be honest is both good and bad. Bad in the sense that I really wanted the orientation to be in person, which I thought it was going to be. Um, it's just the COVID situation in New South Wales has gotten a bit crazy in the past few weeks so just for safety reasons like completely understandable like it's going to be online just with the amount of people in one area but i do think well our labs and clinical stuff is in person which is really exciting the reason i'm saying it's good is because i will still be in my iso period I actually come out the day after so on the tuesday and that means i won't have fomo and miss out on the in-person activities which is lucky for me. The next plant I'm potting is this watermelon pepperoni. This is one of my favorite plants. I think it's so cute. And this pot as well, one of my favorite pots. Hence, I put one of my favorite plants in it. Because I'm in ISO, there's actually a med orientation picnic, like where everyone's getting to meet each other like right now. It's literally just like five minutes from our house as well, which I'm so sad that I can't go. They're all getting to meet each other and I'm here potting my plants. Um, but I'm sure I'll get to... Oh, sheesh. Um, I'm sure I'll get to meet all of them sometime soon. But here we are. Um, I also just got my clinical school allocation yesterday. I feel like it'll be quite busy. I am quite nervous to start just because I feel like my schedule will be a bit hectic. I am a bit nervous in terms of like time management and stuff because at the end of last year like my timetable wasn't as hectic then but I just struggled to like manage my time well um, last year hence the really poor upload schedule and consistency so hopefully this year I know it'll be busier but I'm gonna try my best to upload as often as possible and stay consistent to fit for the point. But yeah, so that's the big uni updates. In terms of what I've been doing and what I've been up to the past few months, I moved out, hence the new background. So as some of you may know, I have been on campus accommodation for the past three years and usually people will stay three years and move out after that. So I've moved not too far away from uni, but with two of my best friends, we have a share house share house vibes this is our balcony i'm sure you'll see more of the rest of the house in future videos i'll give you a room tour as well because my room set up i'm quite proud of it i think it's nearly done i just don't have a bed at the moment i know the most important 
part, but I ordered it first at oh my god, sorry, my hair is all up in my bill. Um <laughs> I ordered it first actually and then it still not come, so the mattress is kinda on the floor right now, but it's kind of a vibe in my opinion. This hair on my face is really rude. I don't talk. And I can't touch my face either because I'm so over my hands. Yeah, so we moved out about a month ago. And I haven't really had the opportunity to be, like, to live in the house. I mean, I have over ISO gotten to know <laughs> it pretty well. Before that, I haven't really been at home. So I need to take this glove off this hair on my face. Too. I think I'm going to do the one glove stitch because um, then I can use my other hand to move my hair out of my face. Anyway, what was I saying before? What was I talking about? I have the memory of a goldfish. Oh, um, yes. So I haven't really like been living here because since uni finished and we moved out, my parents came down from Singapore and they came and visited for two months, which was honestly so nice and much needed after a hectic year. It was really nice to spend time with them. So I was more down where my family lives in Sydney, like in a different area of Sydney. So I was spending time with them. I had my 21st birthday which was like one of the best nights of my life. We had it at my grandma's house, which was like in her backyard. And it was just before the COVID cases started going crazy in New South Wales, which we were really lucky about. But I had my 21st little garden theme moment. Such a good time. We literally just like danced the entire night. And then uh, we went to Melbourne to visit my brother, who I hadn't seen in two years because of COVID. Um, literally like every time we would try and see him. Like last year we tried to see him, but then they closed the borders and then it was just like back and forth with borders and stuff. But we finally did after two years, spent um, heaps of time with him down in Melbourne. And then he came back up here for Christmas, which was really nice. And then the Christmas New Year period honestly just flew by. Like that's the week of the year where I genuinely did not know what day it was and what I was doing all the days kind of blurred together, but it was like super fun. Went to the beach and just hung out, hang out with my cousins and stuff. Um, a lot of family time, which was very much needed and like I'm so glad that I got to spend that time with them before all this ISO period and before I got COVID and before uni started too. Usually we start end of Feb but I start end of Jan this year so a whole month earlier and our holidays are a lot shorter so it is a bit of a shame that my last few weeks um, of holidays were in ISO but I feel like I made great use of my December which I'm really happy about so I can't really complain there. This plant is really just swapping. <laughs> Why is it staying up? Is that right? It's a bit floppy to me. I also probably shouldn't have worn white whilst I was potting. Now that I think of it. Because there is soil all over my skirt. Oh. So that's kind of what I've been up to over my break. In terms of this channel and updates on whether I'm going to upload, which fingers crossed, like let's just manifest it out there, I will upload this year. I was going so well during the first lockdown in 2020 and then last year when I came back to Sydney, kind of all just flopped. Um, but I like honestly am vlogging, I miss vlogging and I missed filming and editing more than I thought I would. Um, so that's what's made me want to come back and want to film. Like I feel like an extra burst of motivation now to, to do this. So one of the big updates on my channel, if you haven't seen already, I changed the name of my channel from Study Collab Alicia to just Alicia Wong. Um, so just my name. Keeping it plain and simple, no fancy username. This is something I've wanted to do for like quite a while. When I didn't upload for so long, it made me want to change it more like not that the username affects why I upload and whether or not I upload but personally the name more is a change because of the type of content I want to film like I know it's just the name um, and I can realistically upload whatever I want to but I've been thinking about for quite a while do like a little rebranding on this channel as you know last year I started filming more vlogs and more like lifestyle sort of stuff like but still keeping that uni student life focus so that's sort of what I wanted to do if you have been on this channel for like a really long time 
you'll know the name started off as Study Collab, um, the Instagram, everything was Study Collab. And the reason for that name, a lot of people ask what the origin of that name is. This channel was actually a project between me and five other, oh, hi, Collab. A lot of the first videos I uploaded were IB tips video. How to study for English. My how to study chemistry IB. All about IB because that's what I was doing um, in my life then. I was going through the IB program and I would, like we uploaded videos about study tips and um, IB guides and stuff like that. Which don't get me wrong, like it was I loved filming them and I like that is definitely one of the reasons why the channel is where it is today because. Um, of like the IB video content but I did take the IB like what is it like four years ago now so it's less sort of relevant to my life right now I feel like I can't post new videos about the IB I'm going very off topic right now but I feel like I get creative blocks because the name sort of to me associated with that period of time when I was uploading but Sunny Collab because this channel was a cast project between me and a few of my other friends at school but since then um, it's now just me uploading on this channel so it just made more sense to change the name to my name because I personally like want to film stuff about my life like more lifestyle videos but obviously a big part of my life like I'm starting med school it's literally like studying for like a lot more years so like studying and like being a student is still a huge part of my life so it's not like I'm going to stop filming those types of videos it's more just I wanted to the channel to grow with me and to follow along like different parts of my life whereas I'm not just tied to that one name study collab so as I said what I've done is I've changed the name of this channel to just my name and hopefully that gives me more flexibility on the types of videos I film I will still be like doing study with me's and study tips and like vlogs around uni and stuff like that um, I also at the same time feel like the biggest imposter syndrome sometimes when I post study tip videos. Like half the time like I know what works for me and I know different types of tips and stuff but I don't always feel the most like things about time management like last year I uploaded like my schedule was so bad because my time management was so poor like I just had a lot of things going on outside of uni. I was struggling to like find a good balance. Um, with as well but obviously like I learned a lot from last year and like what works for me and what doesn't but then like I come on this channel and give you like time management tips when I'm like really poorly managing my own time just to be real like I'm not an expert in any shape or form but um, but like I do try my best and like I love to share stuff as I'm figuring it out myself because I find that's the situation most of us are in um, so hopefully with this new channel name um, it'll give me more motivation to film and I can upload different types of videos in terms of like my Instagram and stuff like that my Instagram page and website I'm still keeping it as study collab just because you want to primarily focus on the study content on that Instagram page and then have like my own Instagram page as it's like a separate one if you guys want to follow along with what I'm doing on my day to day. I can't get this plant out of the pot. Like if I'm potting plants. <laughs> so it was a lot more damp than my other plants. I feel like I'm not watering my other plants properly. <laughs> Whoa. So that's the big update, the big news. Hopefully you guys understand the reasoning for my decision. I know I kind of just waffled on just then. So do let me know if you have any questions or concerns, um, your thoughts. It's getting very windy now. <laughs> um, I would love to know. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm back back in business but it was lovely having chats with you guys this was a really chatty video i probably just talked your ear off and also like if you are really into plants and you've watched me pot these completely wrong then i'm also very sorry <laughs> but yeah that's what i've been up to that's what i'm doing i We'll be taking you along my first day of med school. I'm so freaking excited. 
like the other day we got our stethoscopes in. Oh, it's what's keeping me like excited in my eyes. <laughs> as nerdy as that sounds. Look at the queen. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what types of videos you want to see. This is a new beginning. I'm so open to hearing your video ideas because ultimately you guys are the ones watching it and I want to make stuff you guys want to watch. So let me know in the comments down below. I missed you guys. I can't wait to be back uploading and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Mom vlog. These are my creations. Stunning! I'm pretty proud of them, to be honest. They're looking quite luscious and healthy. I will give you an update whether I can keep them alive because history says that um, not all plants do so well under my care.